What about this upcoming election? What recommendations uh, do you have? Paper ballots. This? Paper ballots. Okay. I, I've been saying it. I'll keep saying it. Paper ballots. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I, 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 I reach out to my fellow citizens. I say, look, we are our world. We're, we're still an incredibly gracious people, all of us. And, and we have an enormous capacity to be gracious. But if we're going to be a great democracy, we've got to get an assurance that people who are, and yes, okay, I am a little too scientific, and yes, I think the world is older than 6,000 years, but I also really know what I'm talking about with network assurance, and that's why your credit card is running today. Okay, I'm telling you these systems can't by design be fixed, but here's the way they do it in Great Britain. Everyone goes to the poll, they fill out a ballot on paper, they take the ballots locked in boxes with several people from each party supervising it. Anyone from the public who wants to come can go along. They go into banks, because everyone trusts banks tellers. They spread them out, and the bank tellers count them. It takes 10, 12 hours. It costs a few bucks to pay the bank tellers to do it, and then everybody writes the results of each precinct, and they call them in. And you want to know something? Everybody can watch. It's transparent, it works, it's cheap, and per voter, the, co the countries that do it like that, Canada, Germany, Great Britain, they spend less on their elections than we do, and when they're done, they know, they may not like the results of the election, but they know that's who they elected, and you want to know something? Great. If we have paper ballots and tomorrow we elect some guy who believes that a, a wind flummigus from the stargates going to come and lead us all to greater salvations or whatever his belief or her belief may be, great. We elected that person. We'll live with it. But we know we actually did that. Right now, I, I, I don't believe, nor frankly should anyone with any common sense or small town values believe that these machines that your grandmother doesn't know what the heck they are and sets up are reporting out anything other than magic dust.